CSS is short for Cascading Style Sheets and is the design elements of the websites or web applications we see on the internet today. CSS allows us to kind of fancy up the web pages by adding different styles to the web pages like color to the background, uh, make tables and boxes and rounding the corners of those tables and boxes, or make columns, or even just making the text look a certain way, like with color or different font styles and font sizes. Now, like with HTML and HTML5, CSS also has different versions, or with CSS they're also called levels. The current and most widely used level is CSS2, but CSS3 has been in the works for quite a while, technically since late 1999 into early 2000. In 2000 was just in a working draft state and not much else, but it is to the point now where some of the modules in CSS3 are being adopted by the big browsers. Problem is that not all browsers recognize all the goodies that CSS3 provides. The big difference between CSS 2.1 and the new CSS levels like CSS3 and even CSS4 is that the newer CSS levels are broken into different modules instead of just one huge batch of code that all browsers would need to interpret. With the new CSS levels broken into modules, the browsers can kind of just work on interpreting a single module at a time and makes for a quicker implementation of all those goodies within that particular module. Problem is that the browsers are not moving very quick to implement all the modules in level 3, but they are getting there. Level 4 or CSS 4 will not even get touched on until all the modules in CSS 3 are standardized with the major browsers. Now a couple of examples of the many benefits of CSS 3 over CSS 2 besides just the module thing is the replacement of some of the outdated elements like how you can add rounded corners to boxes and some of the new styling options like adding a drop shadow effect that both these examples used to require the use of an image or images to get that effect. CSS is the way to go when wanting to add some of the cool effects and design elements to your site without loading it up with a ton of bloat code. Now by bloat code I mean using many lines of HTML code to accomplish the same presentation effects that three or four lines of CSS code will do and do better. Plus most all of the bloat code has been deprecated in HTML4 and in HTML5 many browsers will not even support them. This is going to bring us to the end of the video on introduction to CSS. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.